Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout, episode 13. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Fallout series. If so, please drop a like. I would really appreciate it to let me know that you guys have enjoyed it. I have really, um, re I've really had to research and understand on how to play how to play the game right i know there's multiple of ways well uh, i found the way that i want to play it so i'm gonna play it the way i'm going to i'm gonna do some easy missions just so i can rank up i don't have much food i by accident i went and spent two thousand well Almost two thousand dollars on uh, stem packs, so I didn't mean to do that, but uh, that would help us in fall in um, the battle in um, in Vault Thirty Four. So that will help us out. Let me turn it up. So we have to talk to uh, somebody that has some issue. So let's talk to him or her. Never seen you around before. What do you want? The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? Medical trauma can slow you down or distract you, but it uh tr it's treatable just like a bullet wound. Just let the help Just another injury to take care of, huh? Well, when you put it that way. All right. You can tell the lieutenant I finally caved. There's a Dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing. All right. So, let's go talk to this guy. What can I do for you? I convinced her. Your medical training had come along sooner. I think she'll actually stick with the treatment because of what she said. I was afraid that Betsy wouldn't go for long-term treatment because she didn't want to look bad in front of the rest of the squad. You settled that. Do me a favor and let Usanagi know Corporal Betsy's coming. I'd like to make sure the medical clinic has time for her. So if you have a hard time finding the medical center, it is right here. So if you go there. If you found the Las Vegas Strip, you would be able to. But if you keep on heading, um, I think, east... Yeah, if you head east from here, you'll be able to find it. It's right here, the building, with this little head with the X on it. So come into here. We're going to do a couple small missions if we can. Just to get experience points. Hi. What are you standing on? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're standing on your chair, not you're sitting not. down. Do you need medical attention? No, but I know somebody that does. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. We have leveled up. All right, so let's do a 
Let's do 60 sneak. Seventy five barger bar barter and then um the rest on energy weapons. Now let's see what else we can do for slight missions that we can do. Alright guys, hold on. Next one we will be doing is, it's called, You Can Depend On Me. Let's go over to, You Can Depend On Me. We have to go to the same place we were just at. And it's the same place you can go and get one of the weapons. But it's very, very hard to pickpocket. First, you have to save the game. You guys have seen me trying to do it before. First, you gotta pickpocket, be su successful pickpocketing the bullets. And then he will be forced to put his gun in his inventory. And then when he does that, you can try to pickpocket when he, when he is alone. And tr if you have to be success successful in trying to do it. Sorry that I am having a hard time speaking English today. So, the mission will be in this, um, I guess building over here. Watch out when you're in that building, because if you enter the wrong room, you will be asking for it. Let's go on into here. I hope I entered into the right place, because that would really... Well, it didn't have red, but, um, nope, we still can go this way. So, let's keep on going this way. I think you go up the stairs. Let's try going down the stairs, right here. Oh, he's right here. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? I have an invoice. Alice, I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Wonderful. Straight to it then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees. Their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all of this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? A realist. We have that in common. A year ago, I'd have said the same. But what if I was to tell you that the wasteland can yield an endless bounty, and that the secret may lie a mere few miles from where we stand? We need only reach out and take it, and for that, I need you. Good. I thought I sensed a kindred soul in you, beneath the wasteland veneer. 
I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your pit boy and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data... All right, so... We're not heading to Vault 22. We're still heading to... Caravan to finish that mission. Did Dr. Hildern, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keely. She's unusual, not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius, and and he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Nope. Or any of the other mercs? But now he's hired you, which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich, not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. All right, I'll look for I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. I have one question. Anything. Can you tell me about Keely's anything great. about Keeley? An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? Exactly how old is Keely? I didn't get her to say, but she talked about the war. The Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So, I'm guessing pretty old. 200 years? Maybe more. All right, so uh, we will um, do that mission later on. We'll see how far this puts us. So, guys, I will see you at the Crimson Caravan. All righty, let's see if we can find um, Alice. So we can finish this mission. Now, last episode in Vault in uh, Vault Thirty Four um, comes to find out there's a lot of stuff you got to do to get into the armory, and there's very strong people. Let's Welcome talk to her. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths.
Alrighty. So, let's go and see what we can do at Vault 22. I will see you there. So, we will be heading to Vault 22. But first, we need to... Um... Do this one right here. And I need to make sure I heal up. So I'll use a purified water. And I will... Go to Vault 22. I will see you guys there. Here we are at Vault 22. As we still need to heal up. We will be entering Vault 22 to see... And... And... Find... Any samples... Of anything... Gonna do the local map. Now I have cleared this out in a recent episode. So I shouldn't have any issues. Vault 34 is where I got the issues where I have had a hard time trying to... I don't want to take the elevator... easier if I walk Let's see if what we can find in this So, where do we go? Now, I can see if there is a downstairs stairs. Let's go down one more. Common area 22. Let's see if we can find anything upstairs.
I know there's a way down there. I think I just went the wrong way. Yep, I just went the wrong way, so we gotta turn around and go the opposite way. And there is a way around it, I just don't remember how I did it. We'll go down this way then. Well, that's not the way. Let's see if we can find over here. here hmm Telling me to go up in here. What happens if we go through here? Nothing in there. That stairs up, that stairs down. We will be checking in a couple of more areas, like in the plant prohibit, whatever, wherever I gotta go, because I can't figure this mission out. So, we're going to have to get uh, this unlocked. This is a very hard lock. Dang it. Let me see if there's another way around. There may be.
Oh, wow. Now let's slowly take them out. I go all the way down there, how do I get back up? We'll find out. So let's try to kill all these real quick. Trying not to die. Keely's still there. So we're going to meet her on the second level. Seems like I'm crippled. So let's take a look at that. Go up to the second story. Now I don't know where to go. This vault tech machinery is so fragile. I had to jury rig this elevator a few days and it's on the fritz again already. Ah, that's got it. See you upstairs. Leave. Second story, I guess. I guess we have to go to the entrance. I am not too sure. Oh, 
Hold on, guys. Finally found where she is. Good, you're here. Ready to begin? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Good. Return to me when it's done. Okay. I'm gonna need to heal up for this. So let's go find that. Sorry that the episodes are long. I apologize. Continue on downstairs. How am I going to survive the blast? Alright guys, hold on. I'm gonna go to pest control, see if I can find anything. I hope I do. is one of the terminals we got to deal with. Let's find what's in the locker. Yeah, I guess. Still trying to find that area. I haven't been able to find anything about this mission. I've been having an issue with it. So I'm going to have to call it here. And then maybe later on I can do some research and figure out on how to do this mission because I don't know how to do it. I don't know where the gas is coming from. Uh, next episode, episode 14, is when this mission will be complete. I'll do some research and it's getting kind of late. So um, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Please give this uh, video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much and have a great day. Peace. Hey guys, this will be my last video of Fallout for right now. As you guys would know, on episode 13, I did a mission. Well, the girl ended up locking me in there. And I had no explosives to finish the mission, so I could not get out at all. So the only way to get out of that if you mess up is by getting and redoing the whole entire game. So guys, the next episode is when 
I get back to being episode 21, I mean, um, um, level 21, don't worry guys, there will be more Fallout videos, it's just I need to redo it once again, I apologize for this, but, uh, things happen, uh, let me fix this, um, behind the scenes, and I will see you for another followed video very soon. I would probably say in the next two weeks, I should be able to be able to redo it. Thank you very much, guys, and thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you very much, and have a great day.